Okay, we're here at uh, 187 Oakland Road. Um, number apartment 187, address 187. Um, so there is uh, no dryer. It's a washer only. That's right here. There's a spot out back for hang drying. I know you guys like going to the laundry mat, so it's probably not a big deal. But the, so those little pieces of wood are like for the, um, right there. Those are like, someone left those here from before for doing hang drying. So this is the master bedroom. This is the other two bedrooms. So in this one, all three bedrooms are sharing the same bathroom. One sink. Um, yeah. Everything's that's how it is. Um, let's see. Tub. I know. It's the same quality as that one from a couple days ago. This is um, walking out of the bathroom. This is the downstairs area. So this is sort of like a place where you could like lean over and like, like, hey, what's going on down there? <laughs> uh, let's see, here's the bedroom. This is the largest one and it's um, a medium size. Uh, the closet's nice. It looks like they did some work on making sure that this these shelves are well done. Um, ignore the ladder. <laughs> yeah, it's a quiet looking street. Um, hard laminate floor. Let's see. We got, okay, this is the next largest bedroom and I'm gonna call it a small size. And these um these shelves are still decent. They're not as new as the other bedroom. These slide okay. Um, so the the uncovered parking spot is this one right here next to the van. And then you can't see it from here. We'll check the other room. There's cable coming out here. I don't know if there's cable TV up here. And then right outside this door at the top of the stairs to the left is the last bedroom. Over here to the right was the bedroom we just left. There's the bathroom that's shared upstairs. Beautiful floors. Uh, we have more of these um, coax cables in the rooms. I think they might have had them wired for cable. Nice, it's very, very well done. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna call this room small as well. Borderline tiny. Oh yeah, here we can see from here. So that's the, the second parking spot. The covered one is right over there. And that's the one I think you'd wanna use. And then right here next to the van behind this tree is the second one. Okay. And so that's everything upstairs. Yeah, these work a little better. I think you just put a new um, bearing or spring on those doors and it works fine. Okay. Okay, there's the entry closet. It's right here on the bottom step. Uh, I did not think that door would slide. Nice. Oh uh, yeah, so really big for an entry closet. You hang all kinds of coats or I don't know what here. Here's the front door. This is uh, not the way that we'd probably come in because you'd be coming in from the back. But there's like a little porch thing and then there's the gate right there, right to the front. Here's what it looks like from the outside. So if you were to come in the front, uh, maybe if you're having friends over, they would park, probably if they could find parking on the street. And then they, here's the gate. 
and that's the front of the place right there there's the front door there's a cute little spot there uh it looks nice out here and let's see here is the inside so to the right is the stairs that's what goes up to the three bedrooms and the full bath and then over here this is the bathroom So this is the downstairs bathroom, the half bath. Oh yeah, lots of storage. Okay, there's the stairs right there, they loop around. Um, yep. And so, yeah, it's really kind of a spacious feeling uh, this is the view you'd have if you were sitting on the toilet. It does not feel crowded as a half bath could at all. And then coming out of the half bath, so behind us, stairs to go upstairs. Right here is the door. Here's the living room. This is hardwood floor there's some cable components there's this cute little um countertop situation here in the living room looks like it'd be really convenient for some kind of game storage or console or whatever and right here would be the dining room area hey, hey george. That's, that's george that's our manager so here's the door to go out back but we're going to go to the right and check out the kitchen first Okay, over here on the left is the water heater and it doesn't smell like gas. So that's great. Yeah. And so here's the uh, pantry section. Very nice, large storage area for room temperature foods. There's the range, it's a gas range. Uh, but you don't even cook, Cynthia, so you wouldn't have to use that. Got dual sinks. Could only stack half as many dishes with the dual side, but it's probably better that way. Do they have the water off? Water's off. Okay, yeah, the water's off. Okay. Um, so let's see, yeah, there's some cabinet stuff here. It's um, got those older style countertops, but it's probably better. You're not going to be the first one to make a stain here. Storage for what's and nots. My favorite appliance, the microwave. Pretty good stuff. Fridge included, washer included. Um, how does it feel in the kitchen from here? Say, it feels pretty spacious for me in here. I think you could easily be cooking with two people, not too much in each other's way. Um, so that's the kitchen. So if we were to go to the left, we would see the living room and the rooms are upstairs. That's the window out front to the front. Over here is the back door. Here's what it looks like from inside. These blinds look nicer than the other version. Yeah, they're like paper. They're not those cheap plastic ones that fall apart so easy. Okay, there's a step down from inside to outside, so make sure you pay attention. There's a handrail. So this is gonna be the wall to the neighbor's place. This is the courtyard out here, some kind of shed. Uh, so that's the AC that was involved. So this place has centralized air conditioning, which is what we get here instead of a dryer. So those are the drying racks, steps. Okay, um, cute little spot right here. I could see that being like a little kitty cat house or something. Wow, the shed is tits. 
Love that. Mm-hmm. This is me in a shed. So this is obviously where you'd have your cat house if you like this spot. I don't know how Anna feels about sharing a bathroom with everybody. Um, but there's that is available. And then out here, coming out the back, this would be the spot you'd go to come home. So there's your second guest parking spot. Uh, here's a string like, oh, I gotta come in. There's my home. Pretty convenient. That's tight. Uh, so that, yeah, that's your spot right here. It's assigned. So the neighbors will probably not park in there once they realize the place is rented. And then the other parking spot is this one over here, the third one. That's the covered one. So this would be the walk. He said the neighborhood over there is a little uh, sketch, but that this one's fine. So yeah, covered uh, spot here for parking. Park the car, get out of the car. Oh, I'm getting out of the car. And there's your gate. If you had a second car, they'd park over there. And then you would rendezvous at the back. And if you had more than two cars coming here, you'd have to have them park um, on the other side of this building out front. So that's someone else's gate. This is your gate. Okay, and that is the tour of 187 Oakland Road. So thank you so much.